All right, we are back with another episode of How To. Back good. Good. We we're going to talk about a uh, topic that basically uh, branches off from our conversation in the last episode. You now know how to build a deck. I mean, how to choose a deck that fits your preferences. But now the question is how to build it. And well, there's one thing you really shouldn't do. Yep, and that is called net decking. Which is where you go online, look up a, just a, a list that someone has put on for a deck, and then just build it without any thought. Yes. Um, now granted, this can work as a study tool, but if you're expecting instant results out of it, you're stupid. <laughs> so blunt. And we're going to actually do an example of that, because we have a deck that I have actually never used. So... Never used, but she knows what cards are in the deck, doesn't know what they all do. Mm-hmm. And is now going to use it against Elliot. Because while you guys have had me play Royal Paladins before, I haven't done it in forever, and also I don't think I've ever done this build. Alright, that's enough out of you. Sorry. I mean, I've had, oh, sort of related. I've had people, like, use my decks against me. It's not quite the same thing, but it's just funny seeing the difference in ability, I, I guess. Um, yeah, it can be. I mean, mostly what it comes down to is, um, why do you choose to do it? And usually it's, uh, out of laziness. Yeah. But laziness... Being lazy doesn't get you very far. Yeah, laziness anything. doesn't give you results. I mean, maybe you'll be lucky, and you'll actually get some wins. But in the long run, it's not going to help you out because, well, geez, you don't know which cards are actually working for you or not if you just keep getting lucky. And when <coughs> you start getting, you know, beat down, you gotta have to, you gotta have to start figuring out what's what's going on, what's wrong. Is it? something in your deck that's not working with the other cards, or, or is it is just it you? you? And sometimes you're just not going to know because, like, you went in so blindly. Yeah. You know, it's especially a bad trap for people who are <coughs> just getting into the game. Because they're too... they just started. They don't have... have they're, they don't have any uh, grasp of their own skill yet to work off of. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, fresh players here to use as examples. But it's much more evident when that is the case. Question, Emily, how long has that uh, Pongo been in your hand? I just got it. I'm just making sure. I really hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I really hope so. Mm. I guess it could also just be a sack and just keep getting triggers, and then it won't matter what you're playing. Did you guard? No. <laughs> I can do it too, you know. 
And again, you know, kind of equal boat here. I'm not super familiar with the Musketeers either. But see, see, I can do the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember actually when I was building Musketeers, I went for you for advice, and I asked you to play the deck a lot online to see how it was. And I never did. I just wasn't. You never did? Uh, you told me you did! Like a you ass! <laughs> like a couple of times. I just was not as interested in it as I was in the other thing. See, I didn't want a net deck, so I went to friends for advice. <laughs> Which is a good alternative, usually. Yeah, but I'm a bastard, you see. <laughs> So it is a case of do study up on it a lot. Look at many multiple different decks online. Figure out why they built it the way they did, and then choose your own design. Yeah. I could keep killing things, but I'm not going to be greedy like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, why would you kill an intercept? The only time I, I do is that, that was when it's Almira. See, that's another example of why you don't net deck. Because you don't know what your cards are doing or why they would attack things. Mm -hmm. Like an intercept that's also a 10k guard on the ones on the field. So, I, why wouldn't he attack it? Yep. And then saying, well, there's no reason to attack my intercepts. I have uh, nothing better! Sorry, it's just aneurysm. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> oh, wait, no. 16. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> nothing better in hand, so quiet, you. What, oh, yeah, better, better. <laughs> Somehow don't believe you. Okay. Okay, did the right move. I would have braided you so hard if you just called that to the rear guard <laughs> circle. <laughs> oh. It's not going to make her numbers any better than they are right now. This way it works the better way, because now if she were to say, use Pongo now to get the Soul Saver in the hand. But does it exist? Yes, it does. Because <laughs> now she has the ability to do that. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. You like second triggers? <laughs> of course. <laughs> 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 
can't do anything. How does that even? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you can't even pray for Elmira right now. Let's hear that, maybe. <laughs> Saw your car. I don't know. No! Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, no. Well, alright. Oh, no. Deal with it. Oh, no. 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 Well, outside of this trigger fest that was going on here, I think you saw the point, I hope. Yeah. I had I to had guide her around a bit to make her not screw up too much. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have gone for that soul saver. I would have just left Pongle there. Which, as you saw, wouldn't have made a difference either way. But if I hadn't had gotten sacked, probably would have rode the soul saver. You freaking weren't <laughs> sacking this, probably would have been a lot different. Yeah. But. <sighs> but that aside. <coughs> yeah, it's a good way to <coughs> figure out how a deck works, I guess, but. The whole don't do it. Yeah. I, I'm much more comfortable with this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Although, this deck seems to like me. <laughs> You'll feel a lot more appreciative of your deck when you build it yourself. Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I know that better than just about anyone, because I've been working on Suku. And then I'll know it better than anybody when my ninjas come back. Yeah, Nubatama on the way. <laughs> I've been waiting for them. And that's, a topic for that's a topic day. for yeah another day. So any uh, final thoughts? Mm. No, how about you? Always study your deck hard before making a decision. You don't want to spend money that you don't need to. That's very true too. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it all up for this episode of How To. And good. <laughs> I'll do a better job. Very good! Yes. We don't all need to be Hayo Pineapple. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I wanted to be Hayo Pineapple. I actually hurt my neck doing that. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll try to think of more ideas of more episodes as we go down the line. Usually we get new ideas for topics as we play the game. Yep. And it's all an effort to get people to play the game better one card at a time. Mm -hmm. Well, see you, everybody. Bye-bye.